guys, welcome back to the Eastbourne Fisherman. Today we're down the beach and we have CJ over here, but uh, we are social distancing, so CJ is a good two meters apart, as you can see, jump in in the background for joy. Uh, yeah, we're down on the beach, uh, we're gonna give it a go. Uh, the target at the moment is gonna be for place, uh, as it's still quite light. Um, it is quite busy, I mean, there's anglers over there, and we've got some anglers over this side as well, just setting up, so it's pretty busy. We're down Langley Point, uh, good old Langley Point. Uh, if it does get really, really busy and it gets too, you know, claustrophobic, and then we will chop uh, up sticks and head uh, further past the pierway uh, in the hope of something else. But yeah, I want to get something out um, and just see how we get on. So I'll show you guys what bait we got. Right guys, so the bait we got for today, we got some sand eels, some worms. Picked up some hermit crabs from the angler's den. And I've also got some uh, hardback crabs here uh, in the hope of some smooth hounds. So we get some smooth hounds, see? Nice and soft. Well, that one's nice and soft, the rest of them are hardbacks I believe. Yeah, various different sizes. I picked up from uh, the reefy area earlier on this morning. Oh, they're all climbing out, let's get them back in. So yeah, there's the worms, lovely worms, uh, fresh from Angler's Den. So, uh, you know, we're ready to get on and get out of there. There's my box, all set up, ready to go. Got my journal, it was given to me by uh, a YouTube subscriber, which is fantastic. It's got all the different bits and pieces in. Yeah, can fill up all the different bits and pieces. So yeah, thanks very much for that. I'm just going to show you the rig that we're using, and then we're going to crack it out there and crack on with the, with the day. Right, guys. So the rig we're using today is a two-hook wishbone rig. Uh, we've got some beads and attractors on there uh, with two lug worms. Uh, we're going to get that out there while it's still light, and then we're going to hopefully. Be able to pull ourselves a flatfish and see how we get on. One rod, just at the moment, just to see how we get on for the first maybe hour, hour and a half. Uh, see what it's like. If it gets really busy, like I said, we'll up sticks and we'll choose a different location. Uh, CJ's over there, just uh, baiting up and doing some other little bits and pieces. These rods are out as well. And then to this side, we've got another couple of anglers as well. Uh, so yeah, social distancing kind of gone out the window at the moment. Hopefully they'll stay two meters away from me. <laughs> Oh, is it going to get a gobble? Yeah, so we're out, we're having fun, uh, that's what it's all about, uh, and we'll see if we can pick up an early flatfish. Right, so I'm loving and leaving Christopher, and I'm heading up the cliffs, because it is packed down here. Absolutely rammed, and it's only going to get busier. So, yeah, that's me out, I'm heading up the cliffs, um, I'll keep you posted once we're all set up, and I'll let you know what's going on. Had a couple of casts here. Uh, the guy next to me is cast over my line, uh, which is a bit of a pain in the backside, so yeah, that's enough for me. Up in and moving, so onwards and upwards, I'll talk to you in a sec. Right, so second location, we are here. Just having a quick forage around. Uh, found a couple of uh, softback crabs. It's absolutely great location, just underneath the, uh, the cliffs. This is where we're going to be fishing tonight. Uh, it was down Langley Point earlier, as you saw, but it was too busy. So yeah, come down here. Uh, in the hope that we can bag a fish. I've never fished down here before, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, tide's on the way in now. There's a nice big reefy uh, breaker all the way out there, which we'll be casting hopefully just before that. And then, uh, you know, see what we get. Well, I've got so a new location. Uh, we've just had a quick forage around uh, to find some bait. Uh, we've got nice soft back crabs here. Lovely big velvet swimming crab there. Absolutely fantastic. I think we might put that one back actually. I don't like taking velvet crabs, I think they're too pretty. Uh, you know, a couple more soft backs. And some peter crabs and some sea snails as well. So yeah, we're all looking for a good night. We're up on the cliffs. Uh, my uncle Chris is over there. He was a chap who actually got me into mackerel fishing uh, and started the journey of fishing. That side looks pretty good. And the water's behind us there. It's an absolutely brilliant evening. Really looking forward to this one. Right guys, so the tide's starting to come in now. Uh, we know that the ground is uh, slightly rocky, you know, it's slightly mixed ground. Uh, so I've opted for just a standard pulley rig. Cliffs are behind us, absolutely brilliant, brilliant, fab location. Uh, we've gone for a standard pulley rig. So I've gone for a trident tackle, a clip at the top, and then a swivel there, coming down. Ooh. To our first rig, which is a circle hook there. Nice sharp circle hook uh, with, a, with a crab on. 
So that's my first bait. I'm going to fire that out and we'll sit on that for a while uh, and see how we get on. Right guys, so Rod is in the water. Rod is in, absolutely. Looking forward to this one tonight. Sea's coming up. Hopefully we'll be able to pull some fish out. And see how we get on. Like I said, I've never fished up this end of the uh, of Eastbourne before. And we'll give it a go and see how we get on. Right, so we're just underneath the cliffs. Got two rods out. Chris has got two rods out. Uh, Chris is on mackerel on both rods. I've got lug worm on a one up one down rig, and I've got a pulley rig with a circle hook on uh, with three sand sandals wrapped together. So the rods have been out for about a good hour now. Uh, we haven't had no nibbles or anything, but the tide's on the rise. So hopefully, when, once the tide starts flooding and coming up then hopefully we might be able to bag ourselves a nice fish. Otherwise it's going to be another blankety blank. But yeah, let's uh, see what the evening brings. Right, so about an hour and a half into the session, uh, we've had nothing at the moment. Uh, we've been on a scavenger hunt and picked up a couple of crabs, which is pretty good. Um, just waiting for the, uh, for the fish now. Hopefully they'll turn up. I don't know how CJ's getting on. He's down the other end of, the, uh, of Eastbourne, down Langley Point tonight. Um, and we've come up by the cliffs. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how we uh, get on. I'll keep you updated. Right guys, so as you can see, it is pretty dark down here at the moment. Uh, we haven't had no bites yet, unfortunately. So uh, it's been a bit poor. But we're still gonna try and plug it out. Uh, a couple of guys next to us have had a small bass, but that's all we've heard so far. So feeling a bit optimistic. Uh, like I said, it's pitch black down here, underneath the cliffs. Ooh. So, yeah, we will see how we get on. Right, guys, just gonna show you how to rig up a hermit crab on a circle hook. So we take off the big claw. We go through the socket with a hook. Like so. up through the body. Now hold the hook nice and tight in place. All the arms and legs, we're gonna strap up the line like so. Find my bait elastic. We're gonna rip that up. Just wrapping that up with the line. Once you've done that, all you like to do is with a sack at the bottom, I'm just going to fold that up and wrap that on the underside of the body. Still leaving the hook protruding from the bottom, making sure not to expose the hook point. And that is how I whip up a hermit crab for bait. Hook point at the bottom, legs whipped up the line, nice and ready to go. Let's get it out there. Right, so we missed a couple of bites um, on the on the rods. The, both rods have been jingling about, uh, but we haven't been able to connect with any fish, which has been a shame. Uh, the bites are really positive. 
Um, you know, re really clear, strong bites, but just uh, haven't been able to get the fish, which is a bit of a pain in the backside. But you know, new venue, just trying it out, seeing what it's like. Uh, it looks like a really good venue. It's been, you know, it's been, it's been fun to fish. Um, you know, and there's definitely fish here because we're receiving the bites, but we just can't connect them, uh, which is annoying. Uh, so I've gone with two one up, one up, one down rigs. Um, I've scaled down to a size 1.0 hook. Um, I've got a sand deal on both of them. And we're just going to fish it out now until the rest of the session and see how we get on. Uh, Chris is baiting up um, and he's putting on some mackerel with some sand deal, so he's going to have a go on that. Um, and he's gonna, you know, uh, see what we can get on that. Um, I've given CJ um, a phone call and he's received um, a fish. I won't tell you what it is, so you can check out his uh, YouTube channel if you want to find out more. Uh, sea fishing with CJ. So yep, yeah, we're gonna be into the last uh, couple of hours now. Uh, I'll keep you posted as and when if we do land a fish. Cheers. So we're back at home. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get any fish tonight, which is a bit of a shame. I was really looking forward to. Um, you know, hopefully getting a fish on that new venue um, but unfortunately you know it wasn't in the way tonight uh, we tried really hard we tried a lot of baits so we tried worm um, mackerel sand eel hermit crabs normal crab and hardback crabs yeah just not nothing at all um, the only bites we had were three strong positive bites uh, but we couldn't connect with the fish um, and they were all on the sand deal so uh, the, the first bite I had was on worm tipped with sand eel, um, and I reeled it in and the sand eel was completely gone. Um, I then put sand eels on, had a couple more bites, um, but yeah, no, nothing, and couldn't get the fish, um, which is annoying. But the venue is really good, um, like I say, it's at the bottom of the cliffs. Um, if you want to go there yourselves, so I would suggest pack light. Uh, we took all the tackle boxes and stuff because we were planning on fishing Langley Point. But it was really busy, so we headed up the cliffs. Yeah, so if you want to head up the cliffs, I'd probably suggest go one rod, uh, backpack, and you know, travel really light because going back up the hill at the end of the night is a killer. Yeah, so uh, thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, uh, I'll see you soon. Cheers.